Pincholi are starting to make waves with their brand new, completely original soap opera. I went along to hear all about it and to meet Jim Cartwright and friends at a very busy Cartwright drama studio. So we're in the studio, you know, as you can see, you've got the bubble of excitement. Uh, and uh, it's a, it, what we've, what's happened is that uh, coming from the work we've done here, and these are people from all walks of life and all demographs, you know, and they've, um, they've, uh, they've created their own soap. Which is no mean feat, it's no idle boast, that, is it? I imagine that the amount of thought and dedication and commitment that's poured into that. Well, you explain the mechanics of even going about such a task. Yeah, well, I mean, they're all... What's been amazing is they've all taken it on and uh, they've, they've self-educated themselves, you know, they've learned how to... They, they film it. There's no budget. First of all, there's no budget. There's no time. <laughs> and there's no sets and things. But they've, from that, can you imagine the magic? From that, they have created a soap, which is now on episode 25. And uh, uh, we have a, a, a following, uh, we have fans, uh, and it grows from strength to strength. It's that momentum. We're going to talk about what the future holds and what the, the dream will be. Yeah. And not just the dream, how you make how you achieve and realise that ambition. Yeah. But it's, it's about building momentum, banging the drum, I suppose, as well, getting people to hear you. Well, that's right. I mean, we've already got a really healthy following, but we want to, obviously we want to get it out there more. And we've got people saying to us they prefer this soap to the mainstream soaps. <laughs> you know, it's, it deals with people and stories, not, you know, people are fed up a little bit with issues and, and, uh, and this and that. And they're, they're really re responding well to it. We've got fabulous reviews for it. Yeah. So you, along with your colleagues here, with people who come along, had this German of, of an idea, but, but to sow that and then to, to nurture it... Yeah. That takes some expertise, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah. what's that journey? Yeah, yeah. so, so you know, as, as we said, we came together. We started doing some work on, uh, on, on, uh, on soap operas, uh, on character work, and they decided, you know, why don't we create our own soap? And so uh, they set off with that germ of that idea, uh, educated themselves, uh, editing, f f camera work, you know, acting, uh, script writing. They do the lot themselves, completely empowered. Uh, and it's been a phenomenal experience because from, not, from nothing to creating now up to episode 26 <laughs> has been a, a real eye-opener for me to see how people can take something on. And, just, and these are just, in the main, folk like probably listening to the radio now. They're interested in acting. And some of them are professional actors. A lot of them are, you know, you've got everything from uh, barristers to cleaners to, you know, builders, you know, who always wanted to act. And have come come along here, and uh, they've now created this uh, a phenomena, really. And what is your job? You're more than a conduit. You're more than a facilitator. In a sense, you're catching lightning in a jar here, aren't you? Yeah. When you talk about something creative, and then so many people with bright, inquiring minds all putting an input into that, it, it must be difficult sometimes to circle that square. Yeah, well, not so much with this lot. You know, we seem to be... Uh, I mean, my job is, like, uh, you know, I'm uh, sort of the, the, the conduit to it all. Uh, um, and um, I just keep an eye on it and keep it, keep it on track. I mean, my... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a playwright by profession, and uh, I started this studio in an attempt to give something back because um, it came out... There was a movement that came that people from uh, ordinary backgrounds, for want of a better word, can't get on in the industry theatre, film and telly. Uh, and that really struck a chord with me, um, particularly when Julie Walters wrote an article to say if she came into it, she, if she wanted to be an actress now, she probably couldn't get into it, you know, and I thought, that's, that's too wrong, much. isn't it? It's, it's, it's wrong, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I, uh, from that, the impetus was to, 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 to create a space where people from all walks of life can come and train to be an actor. So I'm putting that out to you people who are listening. If it's ever you've ever had that tickle of wanting to be arms, act, yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot of people here had never acted in their life before. Some had done a bit a long time ago and now returning. Some did some uh, at one point in their lives. But once that little flame has flickered inside, you know, and you performed, maybe you told a joke at junior school and everybody laughed, or maybe you, you know, that, that once that little flame starts to flicker, it never really goes out. Yeah, and sometimes it comes into a raging inferno, which is like this That's lot blossoming now. You can isn't hear it? Yeah. Them now, can't you? They're like a raging inferno of creativity, and they're feeding it into this. This. I've got this to say, song. the enthusiasm staggering. Even yeah. you know, we're, we're about ten, ten feet away, yeah. the chatting really just buoyed by this coming together and what they are creating. And that is the joy of it, I guess, isn't it? You've got it, mate. Joy and creativity and imagination, all those wonderful things. 
uh, and uh, they're, they're bringing it to bear on this skew bridge soap opera, which, as I said, is now episode six, uh, 25. It's 10 minutes long. It goes out every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. And we just get, we, we can't believe the support and following that we've got. See, it's making waves. More to come from Jim Cartwright and his fellow creators of this new soap opera in Chorley. Hello. What's good about it? A bit like the old, the old original Coronation Street, which was about characters in situations of life, you know. It's not dealing with, you know, a, a lot of the soaps now tend to deal with their issues based, you know, it's all about, I don't know, drugs or it's all about, you know, and this, you know, and that's what I think uh, a lot of people have, have left the uh, traditional soaps in the, in the, you know, in the legions, basically. They're looking for something that tells a good, good characters telling a good story. And that's what this is about, character and story in the main. Uh, and uh, what you mentioned about that um, joy and everything, it's enlivened with that too. It's not miserable. There, there are seri- life isn't miserable, is it, all the time? No, there's, there are a serious parts to it and there's a lot of fun to it. Uh, and they're ten minutes long, ten minute bite size. Uh, Which episode. is a discipline in itself, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, it's these skills, these transferable skills that, yeah. that people who come along allows them to blossom and flourish within that parameter. Well, that's right. And then now, you know, uh, it's great for that. They've all come on leaps and bounds acting with their acting. People have learned directing, people have learned uh, camera work, people have learned editing. So they're, they're fully empowered and equipped to go forward into the profession. Uh, our dream is that we might get taken up by some kind of a, a, a sponsorship or um, and, and just we could or we can monetize this online and they could do this full time, you know. That's, that's, the that's the trick. Not the trick, actually. That's the difficulty, isn't it? Yeah. It's one thing, it being a hobby. And you can say it takes over your life, yeah. you know, hours in, in, during the week. But to make a living out of this, yeah. sometimes that's, that is almost beyond the wit of man. So how do you do that? Is, uh, there's a bit of luck involved, but also reputation, I guess. Yeah, well, that's why we're doing this, because you reckon, like, don't sit around waiting for the phone to ring. Make your own work. You bring it to them. If, they build, if you build it, they will come. Take it to them. Take it to the people. Here, look at what we're doing, you know. We're making our own our own uh, uh, Hollywood. We're making our own soaps. We're making, you know... Let's put the show on right here. Let's put the show on now! <laughs> and it's lovely, I, I imagine, for you as well. We can hear your own enthusiasm, yeah. the way you've bought into this as well. You're steeped in, in this, yeah. but you still get that buzz. Mate, it's given me a buzz. I mean, it's been great for me. I, I mean, like I said, I came back, I came just wanting to give something back and, and start to, to you know, um, experiment with people. And I wouldn't say I was so much a teacher as I, I'm here to, like, experiment with people and, and see how things grow and, and see them progress. And it's just been fantastic. I mean, I've got... Uh, as much out of this as as anyone, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's been a fabulous uh, adjunct to my uh, to my career, really. You know, um, just That's enriching on, on two way street, isn't it? Everyone's getting something out of this. If we want to try it for ourselves, how can we hear what it's all about, Scooby? Right. Well, first of all, watch Screwbridge. Yes. Please subscribe because the more subscribers we get on YouTube, the more we move towards our dream of monetizing this this thing. Uh, so start to watch it and if you enjoy if you feel like coming back to acting contact us at Cartwright Drama Studio we have a website www.cartwrightdramastudio.co.uk not com .co.uk tells you all about me tells you all about us and uh, you know if you've got a dream or if that flame is flickering and you uh, you know you, here's the place go for it. it go for it well <laughs> said go for it yeah let's go meet some of those who have now you Jim do. thank you thank you sir and we'll make good that promise. Here, some of those who make it happen. Making it happen. It's being a brand new soap opera. It's called uh, Skew Bridge. It's out of the uh, busy Cartwright drama studio in Chorley. I chatted with some of those making it happen. First up, uh, Zoe Watts. I wondered why Zoe did it. Uh, well, I've been at the Cartwright drama studio for about five years now. And Skew Bridge came up just over lockdown when we kept the classes running. And... I always want, well, oh, it's hard to describe. I just enjoy it so much. It's so much fun. I'm really passionate about it. So was it always an ambition to be involved in something like a soap opera or is this just born out of meeting these like-minded people here? Kind of like born out of being with the like-minded people, like you just said. Um, I've always wanted to be on like a TV series. I really like to be in like a cop drama or something. So this is kind of as close as I've got so far, but I'm really enjoying it. And it's a great step along the way, isn't it? You're, you're building your reputation here. Absolutely. It's 
a great opportunity for learning camera skills. Like even just watching myself back from the first episode to the episode that we are today, I've come so, so far with knowing myself and how I act on set and learning all the other skills. I'm learning editing as well. And I do a lot of the set and the camera angles. I uh, help Daryl a lot, so that is a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I'm Alex Wood. Um, Alex, what do you get from Skew Bridge? What does it bring to your life? Well, um, it's uh, you know it helps with my uh, acting and writing skills. Like I think I've grown, improved quite a bit on my uh, scene writing abilities. You know all that good stuff. You know? I've got to say as well, we talk here about skills. Yeah. But it seems like there's a lot of fun to be had. It's it's uh, an energetic group, this, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, you know it's a. Uh, it's quite, yeah, we get along quite well, you know, it's a, uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a good laugh at the times, you know, very, very good in that regard. And yeah. what's your ultimate ambition? Well, I'd like Skewbridge to become like a brand, like one of the, like, along with the big three soaps, like Coronation Street, Emmerdale and EastEnders, you know, that, that's a big dream of ours, I, I do believe. Yeah. Well, let's watch this space. Best of luck with so, it. Okay, thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm Lucy Pilkington. Lucy. Explain, if you can, the joy of creating something like your very own soap opera. Oh, it's amazing because you watch um, soaps like Corrie and Emmerdale and you think, I'd love to have a go at something like that. But obviously, like in this industry, it's really hard to actually get there. So to actually have a group of people that you all like love and trust and make something like that yourself, it's been brilliant. It's been lovely that you describe it in those terms, love and trust, because I imagine sometimes it can be a little like herding cats because there's so many competing ideas here. But, yeah. but I guess you learn the skill of compromise, do you too? Yeah, definitely, because we're all like our own directors in our own set in a way like we'll all have our own ideas come together and we all mix them so they work in one certain way but everyone's really good with compromise here <laughs> and the long-term goal for you get a career in this industry hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> well, good luck. thank you so much i'm kathy and i play Janney. Hi, I'm Dory and I play Marge. Tell us about Marge then, first of all. Well, Marge is best friends with Jan and always has been from a young age. Marge won the lottery oh. and now she's extremely rich. Yes. She lives in a massive house. Uh, she's just been on a really long cruise and she's only just returned. And as her best friend down the years, are you a little bit jealous of this? Has she changed? No, she's not changed. She's only just come back from a cruise, but I've been in Skewbridge in my council house. I clean Marge's house and um, I've looked after everything for her. So she treats me sometimes and I'm just dead chuffed that she's come home because, well, we're des best mates and uh, we can go out and have a laugh. In fact, we're going, we're going right, out tonight, aren't out, we? Yeah. <laughs> Dare I say, this is probably art matter in life, isn't it? Um, because obviously, you come in along here, you get so much from this. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Is it how you it be? Yeah. Starring in your own soap opera of your own design? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like, I don't know, it's like you're filming in front of cameras, aren't you, every week, so you get used to filming and, and writing your own scripts and just making your own soap. It's fabulous. You'd never, I never thought I'd be doing this. It's great. I'm Daryl, Daryl Nesmo win me over uh, if I'm uh, reluctant to come in and join a group like this, what has it meant to you? Because we're all on one big happy family, I think, and um, we all help each other. I mean, obviously, Jim's spectacular as a director and everything and a mentor and all that. Um, There's a real warmth in this room, isn't there? You're amongst yeah. friends here. We are, absolutely, yeah. Uh, and what's your long-term goal? Well, hopefully uh, become a full-time actor as my main job. World domination, I think. <laughs> we'll watch this space. Yeah, Best yeah. of luck.